Hi, ladies and gentlemen. I've posted some pictures of my little project, and now it is completed. I've added a four MOSFET amplifier to this old Cobra 142 GTL. And as you can see, the fan is not turning. It's stock as stock can be. And if I turn the dynamite or the uh, variable down a little bit, I am on the 10 watt scale. Audio. Audio. I'm about, well, it looks like two watts swing into eight. Now, the way I have this hooked up is if you plug into the DC on the back, it then kicks on the amplifier. And as you can see, the fan is not running. And in order to turn it on and work, you have to flip the PA to PA. Now, if you notice, the radio is still working. So what we're going to do is we're going to take it to the 100 watt scale, as you can see, 100 watt scale, and we're going to see what we can do. Audio, audio. So we're pushing about 60 with a two watt dead key and just a nice little old uh, radio. Now I can uh, turn the turn the turn it up to give it about eight ten watts, and it'll push it even more. Let's see what she'll do just by turning it up a little bit. And I don't know what my dead key is, but audio, audio. Audio. Yeah, it's doing about 70, but you know, I'm only halfway up. I can still turn it way up more. But not bad for a little one. It looks factory. Now on the back, you can see three SO239s. This one right here is a jumper. Basically, the stock radio is right here, and if you want to plug your antenna in it, you have simply stock and it does not go through the amplifier. If you jump the stock to the input of the amplifier, that then makes this your output and it runs through the amplifier and out. So using the existing radio keying circuit and adding an additional keying circuit to the RF meter, when it sees RF, then the system keys up the amplifier. So it's basically a dual keying system. Uh, seems to be working pretty good internally. It looks like brand new. Externally, it looks as factory as factory can get, with the exception of a little heat sink on top. Well, I hope you enjoyed it. Not quite happy with the 12 volt uh, keying coming off the RF because when I key, my RF meter doesn't go up where it belongs. It's pulling way too much amperage for the RF, so I got to find a better 12 volt keying circuit when you. Uh, when you key the mic, that way it doesn't affect the uh, meter. I'm using VR10. Oh, I'm going through D49, which is uh, feeding right into VR10 for the the meter adjustment. But uh, yeah, when you're pulling amp pulling amperage away from that line, you're pulling amperage away from your meter. Now, that's just a minor fix. I'll look at the schematic and see if I can find a better a better place to get 12 volts. Anyways, hope you enjoyed. Have fun. 233 Woodchopper, Kansas City. We're in the bushes checking the mail.